Victoria, Alice, good evening to you all and God bless you. Hi Olivia, good evening. Good evening, Agnes. Good evening. Onwaka Messi Joe. Good evening. Helen. Good evening. Becky. Good evening. Grace. Good evening. Rosemary. Good evening. Good evening. Uche O. Good evening, Genevieve. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Coco. Good evening. Good evening to you all. God bless you you are most welcome in the name of jesus come in come in as you're coming in give the video a thumbs up and a big good evening good evening good evening give the video a thumbs up as you're coming in <clears throat> give the video a thumbs up as you're coming in oh lord calm down Come and manifest your power, O oh Lord. Come down and manifest your power. O oh, oh Lord, come down. Come and manifest your power, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. O oh Lord, O oh Lord, come down and manifest your power oh lord oh lord come down and manifest your power give the video a thumbs up as you're coming in share the live broadcast give the video a thumbs up and share the live broadcast you are most welcome in the name of jesus god bless each and every one of you god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you hi mama and good evening and god bless you god bless you maggie god bless you god bless you susan god bless you abbas god bless you friday god bless you lucy god bless you god bless you and god bless you before we begin today's divine mercy prayer i want you to take one minute and ask god for forgiveness for the bible says all have gone short of his glory for we have sinned in one way or the other ask the good lord for mercy ask the good lord for forgiveness of sin go ahead and ask the lord to forgive you for he will forgive you he will have mercy on you he will forgive you he will wash away all your iniquities he will remember you restore you and revive you this is our prayer today in the name of jesus good evening to you all and god bless you go ahead and ask god for forgiveness of sins go ahead in any way you've gone short of his glory through words of mouth actions and deeds ask him to forgive you for he is a great god and he forgives all iniquity go ahead and ask him lord forgive me in any way i am uh, i am the cause of my problems forgive me in any way my sin is a barrier to my answered prayers lord forgive me in any way that my sin has brought me pain lord forgive me forgive me my sins oh lord forgive me my sins oh lord Forgive me my sins, O oh Lord. Have mercy on me, Jesus. Have mercy on me, Jesus. Have mercy on me, Jesus. Help me, save me, deliver me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As we have asked for forgiveness of sins, so shall it be. Our sins are forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen and amen. Prayer said during Divine Mercy Prayer, You died, Jesus, but the source of life gush out for souls, and the ocean of mercy. Open up for the whole world, O fount of life, unfortunable divine mercy, envelop the whole world, and empty yourself out upon us. Amen. O blood and water, which gush out from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush out from the heart of Jesus Christ 
as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush out from the heart of Jesus Christ, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus Christ. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now until the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus Christ. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now until the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus Christ. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now until the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in our atonement for my sins, in our atonement for your sins, and those of the whole world. At this point, I want you to tell the Lord to indeed have mercy on you. Have mercy on me, O Lord, and save me. Have mercy on me, O Lord, and liberate me. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Have mercy on me. Jesus, have mercy on me. Jesus, have mercy on me. Jesus, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Forgive me my sins. Have mercy on me. Forgive me my sins. Have mercy on me. Forgive me my sins in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a comment I don't like. I've said it severally. You're not forced to be here. If you make me curse you, I am promising you nothing. I repeat, nothing and no one can undo that curse. I am telling you, this guy, Guru, I'll be whatever you call yourself, please kindly exit this live stream. I am begging you, if you make me curse you, it won't be a funny one. You know the demon in you, if you make me curse you, it will double times then, and it's going down to your fourth generation. Don't make me curse you. At this point, I want you to ask the Lord to have mercy on you. Have mercy on us, O Lord Jesus. Have mercy on us, O Lord Jesus. Ask the Lord to have mercy on you and save you. Tomorrow, you'll be asking what happened to you. Tomorrow, you'll be asking where you went wrong. You're even involving the generation that you don't know. Tomorrow, they will start looking for solutions of what is wrong with them. Tomorrow, they'll start looking for who and who. I am telling you, I am, hey, I am warning you, get off my live stream. This is not funny. I didn't turn off this live stream to have jokes with you.
At this point, let us ask the Lord to have mercy on us. Let us ask the Lord to save us. Let us ask the Lord to liberate us. Let us ask the Lord to show us mercy. Show me mercy, O Lord. Today is the five of our evidence day. Asking the Lord for evidence. Asking the Lord to show us evidence of his power. Evidence that he indeed answers prayers. Evidence that the word of God that we hear is for us. Evidence that he said we should ask and we shall receive. Evidence that he said whatever you ask in the name of Jesus that it will be done to you. Lord, show me evidence. Go ahead and ask the Lord to show you evidence. Evidence of his mind. Evidence of his glory. Evidence of his goodness and mercy. Ask the Lord to show you evidence. Go ahead, ask him, have mercy on me, O Lord Jesus. Have mercy on me, O Lord Jesus. Have mercy on me, O Lord Jesus. Forgive me my sins and have mercy on me. Forgive me my sins and have mercy on me. Forgive me my sins and have mercy on me. Go ahead and ask the Lord to have mercy on you. Go ahead and ask the Lord to show you an evidence. Because the word of God is there for you. The word of God is there to save you. The word of God is there to liberate you. The word of God is there to have mercy on you and grant you your heart desire. You deserve to have a good life. You deserve to have a good life. As long as you say, oh, I have, I have accepted Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. As long as you have decided from your heart to follow Jesus, the word of God that is spoken about you is there for you. The word of God that assures us of his deliverance is there for you. Go ahead and ask the Lord to show me an evidence. Go ahead. You need this evidence. Evidence of his power. I know some people who are stranded. I know some people who no good thing comes to. I know some people, they need to struggle and struggle and struggle before they get off anything good. Go ahead and ask the maker of heaven and earth. Show me evidence today. Show me evidence of your mind. Show me evidence of your grace. Show me evidence of your deliverance. Show me evidence of your power. Show me evidence of your healing. Show me evidence of your restoration. Show me evidence of what only you can do. Go ahead and ask the king. Show me evidence. Show me that you are the Lord that you do not fail. Show me that you are the Lord. You cannot disappoint. Whoever that comes to you with a broken heart can never go back the same. Whoever that comes to you crying can and never go back the same. Oh Lord, show me an evidence, an evidence of your supernatural power, an evidence that he is the Lord and he's, can, he can do all things, an evidence that there is nothing, absolutely nothing impossible for the Lord to do. Go ahead and ask him, show me an evidence, oh Lord. I need you to prove to me that you are God. Some people are already getting their evidence of his mind. Some people are already getting their evidence of his, of his goodness. Go ahead and tell him, in my business, show me an evidence. Show me an evidence in my workplace. You see that workplace that no one likes you. That workplace that if you come in is as if you just enter the world zone that workplace that no one wants to relate with you everyone has one bad thing they want to talk about about you go ahead and tell the lord show me an evidence of peace show me an evidence of love show me an evidence that indeed that you are god turn things around for me turn things around for me turn things around for me may i always 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 experience your goodness starting from today turn things around for me turn out all bad news to become good turn out all hatred to become love turn out all rejection to become accept acceptance go ahead and tell the lord turn things turn things around for me for he is the lord he cannot fail for he is the lord he cannot disappoint for he is the lord whatever he says he will do it will only take a while but the word of God must surely comes to pass. What 
whatever he has said concerning you, he will make it happen. Whatever he has instructed, he will make it happen. Go ahead and tell the Lord, show me an evidence that you are God. Show me an evidence that you do not fail. Show me an evidence that you do not disappoint. I need you, O Lord, to show me that you are God. I need you, O Lord, to show me that there is nothing impossible for you to do. Go ahead and call him. Call him in that situation that looks bad. In that situation that it looks like you are alone. In that situation that it looks like everyone has deserted you. In that situation that it looks like when people are celebrating your son were crying your son were regretting life go ahead and tell him show me an evidence for i know that you're a god that do not fail i don't serve a god that fails i serve a god that do not fail a god that we call at all times and he answers show me an evidence show me an evidence of your healing 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 in the life of kenechuku and ozochuku show me an evidence of your healing in the life of esther show me an evidence that, that of your healing in the life of Amogechi, show me an evidence of your healing lord show me an evidence of your healing for i know you do not fail show me an evidence of your healing for i know you do not disappoint show me an evidence of your healing for i know whoever comes to you will never go back empty-handed oh lord god show me an evidence today and forevermore in the name of jesus christ of nazareth go ahead and tell the lord show me an evidence of your restoration power begin to ask for restoration of his restoration power show me an evidence of restoration go ahead and ask for restoration he promised he said i will restore to you the years you have lost it doesn't matter how many years it doesn't matter how long it has been he said i will restore to you the years even if it's hundred years he will restore whatever you have lost nothing will be left on unrestored every single thing you have lost he will restore he will restore your joy he will restore your peace he will restore your family he will restore every single thing that you have lost go ahead and tell the lord show me an evidence of your restoration power begin to ask for restoration power for people who have lost a lot of things for people who have lost their joy there are people who have mm -hmm. lost complete joy the, this life is not making sense to them again nothing interests them anymore go ahead and ask the lord show me your evidence of joy show me your evidence of help you promised to help me you said i should not be afraid that you will help me show me an evidence of your help show me an evidence of your deliverance show me an evidence of your restoration show me an evidence of your mind show me an evidence of your miracle show me an evidence of your healing show me an evidence of your power of your power show me an evidence of your revival go ahead you deserve this evidence you deserve this evidence remember it is by his mercies that were not consumed so go ahead and tell him by your mercy oh lord show me an evidence of restoration by your mercy oh lord show me an evidence of your restoration look upon me with mercy look upon me with your compassion passionate eyes and show me an evidence look upon me upon me upon me with your compassionate eyes oh lord and show me your evidence of restoration restore everything i have lost today restore every one thing i have lost you see that thing you think oh i think i've lost this i need to move on but you desperately need it go ahead and tell the lord show me an evidence of your restoration i want to see your restoration work at uh, your restoration power at work in my life i want to see your restoration power at work in my life lord god show me an evidence an evidence of your restoration today and forever 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, show me this evidence that I will know indeed that I serve a living God. Show me your evidence so that I will know indeed that you are the Lord who do not fail. Show me, give me this evidence, O Lord, that I will know that your words must surely come to pass. Remember you said I should ask and I will receive. I am asking in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for an evidence that will shock the world. I am asking in the name of Jesus Christ for a visible evidence that everyone will hear and want, to, and want to serve the Lord with me. I ask for this evidence today. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen, amen, and amen. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in our atonement for my sins, in our atonement for your sins and those of the whole world. We're going to speak into our foundations because most things, 50% or if not 60% of things happening to us is powered by our foundation. If your foundation is good, there is a 60% chance that things happening in your life will be a positive one. But if your foundation is bad, if your foundation is faulty, that is where the problem is. Because there is nothing you do that will work if that foundation is not fixed. Go ahead and tell the Lord, by your mercy, O oh Lord, fix my foundation. You should know by now the history of your foundation. You should know by now the family pattern that is going on in your home, in your family, so that you can address it by name. Go ahead and ask the Lord, fix my foundation. By your mercy, O oh Lord, I need a fix. I need this foundation to be fixed. Some foundation are pure delay. Some foundation are powered by delay. Whatever their children do, it will be delay upon delay. Some foundation are powered by causes. Just like this one I said now. If this cause, if I say this cause, it will follow him and his generation. And the generation to come may not know what their ancestors did. And it will keep going until someone is bold enough to break that cause. Some foundation are faulty. 60% of things happening, they are powered by this foundation. Go ahead and tell the Lord, by your mercy, fix my foundation. Remove every faulty foundation. I speak into my foundation today. Any evil coming through my foundation that is affecting me, any sort of negativity coming through my foundation that is affecting me, I am speaking in the name of Jesus. May all those things be destroyed. Whatever evil that is coming from my foundation that is causing me pain, that is causing me delay, that is causing me tears, that is causing death, that is causing near success syndrome, that is causing failure, that is causing rejection, that is causing all manner of evil, evil by the power in the name of Jesus. May it be destroyed. Oh Lord, fix my foundation. Fix my foundation, oh Lord. By your mercy, fix my foundation. No more faulty foundation. 
every power of darkness coming through my foundation in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the Lord de rebuke it. May the Lord destroy it. May the Lord condemn it totally in the name of Jesus. And I need you to separate yourself. I need you to separate yourself from the things of the old. I need you to separate yourself from ancestral causes. Go ahead and ask the Lord, by your mercy, I separate myself from every ancestral cause. By your mercy, I separate myself. Today, I separate, I separate, I separate, I separate myself from every foundational cause. From every foundational cause, from every ancestral cause, I separate myself today in the name of Jesus. Begin to separate yourself as you're asking the Lord to fix it. Separate yourself, separate yourself, separate your family, separate yourself, separate yourself from every forces of darkness coming from that foundation, from delay coming from that foundation, from reproach coming from that foundation, from afflictions coming from that foundation from stagnation coming from that foundation oh lord i separate myself from every evil coming from my foundation every evil coming from my foundation that is affecting my life negatively in the name of jesus i separate begin to separate yourself separate yourself from these foundations these foundations that bring darkness these foundations that bring reproach these foundations that bring delayed marriage these foundations that bring mental illness do you know that there are some foundations that there is a mental illness it happens to them yes you will see people in their homes. They will keep asking. You see people in their homes as they are growing. You notice that most of your siblings, or rather your cousins, all of them have mental issues. It is founded by a foundation. Something is wrong in your foundation. If that thing is not removed, it will keep going and it will keep affecting your children. So go ahead and separate yourself. As you're separating yourself to separate your children from every negativity coming from your foundation. Separate your children too from every delay coming from your foundation. Separate your children too from every sort of failure coming from your foundation. Separate your children too from every near success syndrome coming from your foundation. Separate your children too from every delay coming from your foundation. Separate your children too from every delayed marriage coming from your foundation, every failure, every pain, every shame coming from your foundation. Go ahead and separate, separate, separate yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I separate myself from every negativity coming from my foundation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I separate myself this day from every negativity from my foundation. I separate myself this day from every delay from my foundation. I separate myself this day from every stagnation coming from my foundation. I separate myself. I separate myself. Begin to separate. Begin to separate. Begin to separate. Separate your children. Separate your husband from every faulty foundation. In the name of Jesus, I separate myself from every cause coming from my foundation. I separate myself from every delay coming from my foundation. I separate myself from every untimely death coming from my foundation. I separate myself from every witchcraft attack coming from my foundation. Begin to separate begin to separate. I separate myself in the name of Jesus from every negativity from my foundation. I separate, I separate, I separate, I separate, I separate. Go ahead and separate. Go ahead and separate. Separate, separate. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, begin to separate, separate every faulty foundation. By the power in the name of Jesus, every delay, every pain, every shame, every every sickness, I separate, I separate. Hereditary sickness, I separate myself. I separate myself. I separate myself. I separate myself. I separate myself from every evil coming from my foundation. In the name name of Jesus, I separate myself from every evil coming from my foundation in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I separate myself today, so shall it be. I separate my children, so shall it be. I separate my husband, so shall it be. We are separated from all form of evil coming from my foundation. We are separated from all form of pain coming from our foundations 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as we've separated from them, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no more foundational problems, no more foundational pain, no more foundational sickness, no more hereditary sickness, no more hereditary pain, no more hereditary death, no more untimely death. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, so shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In him now, my gaga gama moo. In him now, my gaga gama moo. Or gaga gibu moo. Eat him now, my gaga gaga I am not Maggie or Gaga Mamu. I am not Maggie or Gaga Mamu. Or Gaggy. Oh, or I am not Maggie or Gaggy. We see. I am not Maggie or Gaga Mamu. Or Chum, not Maggie or Gaga Mamu. Or I am not Maggie or Gaga Mamu. I am not Maggie or Gaga Mamu. I am not Maggie or Gaha Mamu. I am not Maggie, I got her mamu. Nezia. The song I just sang now said, What I don't know will not come to me. Do you know that there are people who have died another person's death? There are people who have taken up another person's burden, mistakenly, without even knowing. There are people who have done a spiritual exchange. Spiritual exchange with people without knowing. You wear clothes someone wore. You don't know the transfer. You wear weak. You don't know the transfer. What I don't know will not know me. Sickness that I don't know will not kill me. The pain I don't know will not come to me. Cases that I don't know will not come to me. It's as simple as saying, owners of evil load, carry your load. What I don't know will not come to me. There are people just on their own, they stay, trouble meets them. Trouble meets them. I've seen someone seated somewhere, seated very pretty somewhere, and a vehicle fell brick. A vehicle fell brick, went straight to that place that person was. And that was the end. And that was the end. I've seen a, a, is it a misplaced identity. This one happened in my presence. A young man. They were looking for someone. They came and held the boy. It wasn't him. He just walked in, just like every other person. What I did not know will not come to me. I will not die another person's death. It is a strong prayer for everyone to do. As a matter of fact, before you leave the house, it is something you must declare on yourself. Not just for you, for your children. Not just for you, for your children. What I do not know will not come to me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we decree today and forever, what we do not know will not 
come to us. What we do not know about will not come to us. Do you know that a lot of people have been accused for something they know nothing about? Absolutely something they don't even have a slight idea about. And they were just accused. What I do not know will not come to me and my children. It will not come to me or my household. It will not come to me in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and declare this upon yourself. What I do not know will never come to me. It also says what you do not know. In case there is an enchantment against you, you don't know about it and it will not come to you. In case there is an evil plot against you, you don't have an idea of it and it will never come to you. In case they are shooting evil arrows, spiritual arrows, you do not know about it. You're not in the same gang with them. So therefore, it will never come to you or your household. No matter what they are planning, it will go back to them. The Bible makes us to understand that he, whoever that digs a pit falls there into that pit. Whatever evil plot they are up against you or your household, it will not prosper. We make a decree today by the power in the name of Jesus that do not fail. By the power in the name of Jesus that can never be compromised. We decree today and forever. What we do not know will not come to us. What we do not know will not kill us. The sickness we do not know will not come to us. Strange sickness will not come to us. Egyptian sickness will not come to us. We don't know about it. So therefore, it will never come to us in the name of Jesus. What we do not know will not come to us. What our children do not know will not come to them. In the name of Jesus, we take exemption from every evil and evil arrows. In the name of Jesus, whoever that digs a pit for us falls there into that pit and it, the person is destroyed forever. Whoever that digs a pit of failure will fall into that pit of failure. Amen. Whoever that digs a pit of death falls into that pit of death. Amen. Whoever that digs a pit of sickness falls into that pit of sickness. Amen. Whoever that digs a pit of delayed marriage will fall into that pit in the name of Jesus. Every evil arrow set for us returns back to the sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil arrow sent to us returns back to the sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil arrow targeted at us, our children, our husbands, everything related to us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that evil arrow goes back to them in the name of Jesus. Whatever plot of the enemies, whatever it is they are plotting, whatever it is they are doing, we decree today that their evil goes back to them in the name of Jesus. Their evil, first of all, is nullified in the name of Jesus. And as it is nullified, it goes back to them in the name of Jesus. No weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. No matter how they target this arrow, it will never come to us. No matter how they put Project this arrow, it will never come to us. No matter how they push this arrow, it will never come to us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen and amen. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for your sins, in atonement for my sins and those of the whole world. I need you to tell the Lord what you want. Go ahead and tell the Lord exactly how you want it. You want a job, go ahead. Some people have been off jobs for a long time. For a long time, you've not had employment. You're qualified. But we don't know what is keeping you. Go ahead and ask the Lord. And before you ask, I want you to stand on the authority that said, Ask and it shall, give, it shall be given to you. Go and remind God that he has promised to give you exactly what you've asked for. He said, ask and it shall, shall be given to you. He has given you a full authority that whatever you ask him, that it shall be done. That whatever you ask, believe in your heart. One thing that stops us from getting what we want is doubt. And it's the devil that positions that doubt in your heart. Because he knows that if you trust, you will get the Bible said it. If only your faith can be as small as a mustard seed, you can tell a mountain, be that removed, and the mountain will be pulled down. If only your faith can be just as small, no matter how little it is. He knew that there will be a point where we would doubt him. He knew that we would doubt what he can do. We knew that at some point, were going to question his existence. So he now gave us, he said, no matter, he didn't say, if your, if your faith is as big as, no, it needs to be so little for him to perform miracles in your life. That faith needs to be very, very little. Go ahead and tell the Lord, Lord Jesus, I call to you for help. Lord Jesus, I call to you for help. Give me what I ask for. Remember, you're going to be asking in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who's, who is able to do all things. Go ahead and ask for what you want him to do for you. Go ahead, ask him for what you want. You need a job, go ahead. Things are not working out for you, go ahead. Your business is not moving as you planned, go ahead. Keep asking until he will do it. Go ahead, ask him, ask him, ask him again and again. Don't doubt what he can do. No matter the forces around you right now, no matter everything around you, maybe the things around you are not agreeing with you. The things around you are probably saying, oh, I am not sure this prayer will answer. Maybe even as you're speaking, you don't have anything to eat. Go ahead and exercise your faith. Ask and it shall be given. I ask in the name of Jesus. I ask that you provide my needs. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I will receive a good paying job. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that my visa will be stamped and approved. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that everything I touch will be powerfully blessed. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that goodness and mercy follows me everywhere I go. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I will get a new name, a new identity. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for a change of story in case your old story is not well, in case your old, old story is not the way you want it, in case your old story is not exactly as you planned it. Go ahead and ask the Lord, change my story. Go ahead and ask him, I need you, Lord, to change my story. Change my story, O oh Lord. Change my story, O oh Lord, for you are the Lord that do not fail. I need a change in my story. Go ahead and ask the Lord, change my story, change my story, change my story. Ask and you shall receive. If you're going for an interview, go ahead and ask for the success of that interview. If you're looking for a job, go ahead and ask that that job will be given to you. Go ahead. If you're looking for a career breakthrough, go ahead and ask. If things are not 
not working out for you in your place of work. Probably you think maybe they don't like you. Go ahead and ask for love. Go ahead, ask for the favor of God. That everyone that sets their eyes on you, that they that you will find favor in their eyes. The Bible says that He have the hearts of man in His hands. The hearts of everyone is in the hands of the Lord. Go ahead and tell the Lord, you have the hearts of kings in your hands. Change my boss to favor me. 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 Go ahead and tell the Lord, change my boss to favor me. Change everyone around me to favor me. Change everything I do to favor me. Go ahead. If you're the type that receives constant hatred, constant hatred in your place of work, your business, go ahead and ask the Lord for a change. He has the heart of man in his hands. Anyhow he wants it, he touches their hearts. So therefore, let him touch the heart of whoever is your superior to favor you. Let him touch the heart of whoever that is in charge to favor you. He is the king of kings. There is nothing he cannot do. He turns the heart of man in a twinkle of an eye. Go ahead and tell him, touch the heart of my boss to favor me. Touch the heart of people around me to favor me. Go ahead and ask the king for favor in the name of Jesus. And also go ahead and ask the Lord to grant you healing. In case you're sick, go ahead and ask. He said, healing is thy children's bread, meaning he gives it to anyone he wants. And he said, by his stripes we are healed. Ask the Lord for divine healing. Ask the Lord for divine healing. Divine healing from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Go ahead and ask for divine healing. Oh Lord, I need to be healed. I need healing from you. Ask and don't doubt it. Believe completely that your prayers are answered. Believe completely that he has heard your voice. Believe completely that whenever you ask, he answers you. Go ahead and ask the Lord, grant me my heart desire, for you do not fail. Grant me my heart desire, for you do not disappoint. Grant me my heart desire, for you cannot change. You can never, never change. You can never, never change at all. You can never, never change. You're the same today and forever. Jesus, you can never, never change. Oh, you can never, never change. No matter how it is, you can never, never change. You're the same today and forever. Jesus, you can never, never change. Lord, you can never, never change. You can change. You can never, never change. You're the same today and forever. Ancient of days, keep asking as old as you are. As old as he is, as old as you are. As old as you are, you can never fail. You can never fail. Ancient of days, ancient of days. As old as you are, 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 you will never change. He's the same God today. He's the same God tomorrow. He will be the same God in the next hundred years if there is still earth. His words must surely come to pass. His words cannot return back to him void. His words must find fulfillment in your life. His words must find fulfillment in your career. His words must find fulfillment in your family. His words must find fulfillment in your relationship. Go ahead and ask the Lord what you need. He has given us a blank check. You can ask as many things as you, as you want. You can ask as many things as you want. Ask and you shall receive. Seek him and you will find. Knock and the door will be widely opened unto you. Whatever you ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it will be given to you. Ask without doubt. Ask without doubt. Ask without doubt. 
A good job, ask it shall be given. Career breakthrough, ask it shall be given. Family unity, bringing your husband back. Family unity, reuniting you and your children. Ask and it shall be given to you. Whatever you ask, believe in your heart that it is done. Do not doubt it. No matter the storm of life, do not doubt it. No matter the forces of darkness, do not doubt it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen and amen. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for your sins, in atonement for my sins, and those of the whole world. I needed to ask the Lord for revival. Let there be a revival in your life, your life, your life. Right now, not your business, your life, your life. Let there be a revival. A revival in your life. A revival that will affect every other thing you do. When your life personally is revived, it reflects on every other thing around you. It reflects on your children, it reflects on your home, it reflects on your business, it reflects in your career, in your career and in, in looking out for a good job. It reflects all around you. Go ahead and ask the Lord, revive me, revive me. Revive me, O oh Lord. I trust in you, revive me. You said you have my name written at the palm of your hands, that you know me. You've chosen me. Lord, revive me. The reason why I want your life to be revived, there are lots of people who are stranded, one. There are lots of people who are confused, too. There are lots of people who are so sad. Every day you're sad. You feel life has no meaning anymore. You're depressed upon depressed upon depressed. Go ahead and tell the Lord, Revive me. For your name's sake, revive me. Because when I am revived, it affects every area of my life. When I am revived, it affects my business. It affects my life. Revival, it's taking away, when you're revived, it is taking away all those things that block you, all those things that affect you, all those things that bring you sadness, all those things that bring you pain, all those things that make you cry, it will be taken away and you will be a new person. A new person, a, a new person filled with grace. You will start living a life that is free from deceit, free from failure, free from rejection, free from um, near success syndrome, free from pain and shame. Ask the Lord to revive you. Let there be a revival in your life. Let there be a revival in your life. Oh Lord, revive me. Revive my life. Revive my life. Revive my life, oh Lord. Revive my life 
For your name's sake, Lord, revive me. For you are God that do not fail. Revive me. For you are the Lord that you do not disappoint. Revive me. No one comes to you and goes back empty-handed. Revive me. No one comes to you and is put to shame. Revive me. No one comes to you and goes back crying. Revive me. If you have a child that... You don't understand what is going on in the life of your child. You don't understand because this child keeps exhibiting terrible habits. Go ahead and ask the Lord to revive your child. Go ahead and ask the Lord, let your revival power rest upon my child. Let your revival power, if, your, if, if it is not just one child, if it's your children, let your revival power rest upon my children. Let your revival power rest upon my children. For you are the Lord that do not fail. You are the Lord that cannot disappoint. You are the Lord that whatever word you say, you keep to it. You're not one that says one and says another one tomorrow. You keep your words and you fulfill your words. Lord, revive my life and that of my children. Revive my life and that of my husband. Revive my entire family. Revive my entire family. Revive my entire family. Revive my entire family. For your name's sake, O Lord, revive us. For your name's sake, O Lord, revive us. For your name's sake, O Lord, revive us, for you do not fail. You do not disappoint, and I hold you by your words. You cannot fail me. Revive us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. I need you to ask the Lord for a new beginning. When there is revival, a new beginning comes in. Go ahead and ask a beginning of peace. Go ahead and ask a beginning of success. Go ahead and ask a beginning of breakthrough miracles. Go ahead and ask a beginning of great visitation. Go ahead and ask a beginning of success. Go ahead and ask a beginning of a good paying job. Go ahead and ask a beginning of a new life, a beginning of a new story. Go ahead and ask the Lord, give me a new beginning. Give me a new beginning. Give me a new beginning for I trust in you. Give me a new beginning, a beginning of peace, a beginning of career breakthrough, a beginning of all round success, a beginning of divine healing, a beginning of complete restoration, a beginning of joy, a beginning of promotion, a beginning of salary increase, a beginning of a good paying job, a beginning of abundance. Lord, give me a new beginning. As we have asked, so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As we have decreed, we shall receive. As we have asked the Lord, we will not go back empty-handed. Mm -mm. We are not going to go back empty-handed. You will not go back being stranded. For the Lord has heard you. And the Lord will do that which only him can do in your life. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and ask for increase. He is the Lord that gives increase. He said, I will give you increase. And you will know that I am the maker of heaven and earth. Do you know what it means? It means that I am in charge of heaven and on earth. Everything belongs to him. He is just simply telling you that he is in charge of of, of increase. He's in charge of decrease. So he has promised to give you increase instead of decreasing you so that you will know that he is the maker of heaven and earth, meaning everything is in his, in his palms. Anything you look for in heaven on earth is in the palm of the Lord. Anything you look for in heaven, it is in the palm of the Lord. Go ahead and ask for increase. Increase, increase, increase in your business, increase in your career, increase in your family. Your labor will not be in vain. Increase, increase in your finances, increase in your finances. Financial open doors, let doors be bust open. Not one door, not two, not three. As many doors that have connecting doors on its own, let all of them be open. Go ahead and ask for increase, increase. You are the Lord that gives increase. Today, give me increase. You are the Lord and you do not fail. Today, give me increase. You are the Lord and you do not disappoint. Today, give me increase. I ask for all round increase. Business increase, marital increase, favor increase, helper increase. Any form of increase you need. 
ask the Lord for increase. Go ahead and ask the maker of heaven and earth to give you an increase. He said you will know that he is the maker of heaven and earth when he releases that increase to you. And a good part in that scripture it says, I will give increase you and your children. It is not just you, it is you and your children that will receive that increase from the Lord. Go ahead and ask the maker, Lord, give me increase for I trust in you. Increase my life for I believe in you. Increase my finances. Increase my finances. He said, whatever you lay your hands to do, he will bless. No matter how little that finances is, he will increase it. Go ahead and ask for financial increase. He will open doors for you. Make sure you're doing something. Make sure, no matter how little, make sure your hands are doing something. And watch him increase that thing you do for a living. He has promised to increase whatever we lay our hands to do. He has promised to increase Every single thing you lay your hands to do, go ahead and ask the Lord, give me increase, O Lord, for I believe in you. Give me increase, O Lord, for I trust in you. Give me increase, O Lord, for you do not fail. Give me increase, O Lord, for you do not disappoint. Give me increase, O Lord, for you will always come through for me. Give me increase, O Lord, for you are the Alpha and the Omega. Give me increase, O Lord, for you are the only through God. Give me increase today, tomorrow, and forever. So shall it be. In the name of of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Go ahead and cover yourself in the blood of Jesus. Go ahead, cover yourself. Cover yourself in the blood of Jesus. Cover your children in the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and decree. No weapon fashioned against me or my household shall prosper. Decree that word into your life. No weapon, no matter how they strategize it. No weapon, no matter how they are planning it. No weapon fashioned against I and my children, my family, my household, none of them shall prosper. No matter who is blowing that, who is blowing that evil, who is blowing that, um, that, that arrow, it will not come to us. In the name of Jesus, decree unto yourself, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. No weapon fashioned against your children shall prosper. Any thong that shall rise up against us, that thong shall be condemned forever in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. For the sake of your sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of your sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of your sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now ever shall be world without end. Amen. Saint Maria Faustina, pray for us. Saint Maria Faustina, pray for us. Saint Maria Faustina, pray for us. Let us pray. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasure of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we may not be despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen and amen. May the blessings of the Lord be upon us. May the grace of the Lord be upon us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. I pray for those who gifted me today. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord God bless you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord God provide for you. You will never laugh. Today, I speak for evidence on your behalf. Evidence of peace. Evidence of success. Evidence of breakthrough miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
Amen. I pray for those who honored my live stream invitation. God bless you. May God abundantly bless you. May God favor you. May God open doors for you. May he bless you at all times. May he favor you at all times. May the Lord God protect you. May he give you a reason to smile. May he give you a reason to rejoice. May he wipe away your tears. In the name of Jesus, may God bless you. May God favor you. May he abundantly provide for you today and forever. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. And for those who share my videos and give my videos a thumbs up, God bless you. May the Lord God bless you. May the Lord God open doors for you. May the Lord God show you mercy today, amen. May the Lord God forgive you, amen. May the Lord God honor you amen may he send you help from heavens in the name of jesus amen and amen god bless each and every one of you god bless you god bless you and god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen and amen god bless you god bless each and every one of you god bless you well something i saw something that made me smile Ooh, what's going on? God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for being here. Please do not forget that we have midnight prayer today. That was why I was smiling though. I saw something and I remembered something and it's making me smile. So don't forget that we have midnight prayer today by 12 a.m. I want to say something. I want to make... There's this psalm we're going to be reading in this midnight prayer. Hmm? If, if someone has offended you, like they've offended you and they are bragging. You know how someone hurts you and they are bragging. You can't do anything. I will kill you and kill your children. You can't do anything. I will make sure your household does not stay. If you've experienced... Someone said her candle has finished. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I should have announced it late, um, earlier on so that you can get a candle. But you can do without candle. Maybe buy it some other time. Okay. Okay, so um, this can this prayer right is for people who are hot, who has been threatened by someone. You know that prayer that said, "Let your home be desolate." Is a curse. So why I'm going to make this prayer tonight is for people who have gone through that pain but please if you're making this prayer make sure you're not weeping fashion against yourself hmm? someone said use spiritual candle yes use spiritual candle we're going to be using candle oh. that candle is going to be painting us we're not keeping that candle on the floor until we finish that psalm we're going to hold that candle with our left hand until we finish that psalm we're going to read that psalm, even if the wax is... Can we use battery candle? I, I don't, I'm not sure how battery candle works. Even if the wax is dropping down your hands, don't remove it. Keep it. The, the thing is this, right? Even if you don't know the name of this person, hmm? let my enemies, whoever that is after me, whoever that is after my peace, we're going to be praying two sets of prayer. We're going to be praying um, altar. So we're going to be making that prayer. Whoever that is after my peace, whoever that has decided that I will not succeed, whoever that has said I will not reap the fruit of my labor, whoever that has said I will not go to bed and sleep quietly like every other person, whoever that said I will not succeed, let God take it out. Let God take the person out. When we read that psalm, some of you may know that psalm, why some may not know. Um, I don't use that psalm. I use that psalm when, in extreme cases, I think I've used it two or three times in my life, in extreme cases, 
So we're using it tonight, but make sure that you've not offended. If you, you still have time to apologize to that person, I beg. If you've wronged anyone, please apologize. If you can't reach that person, start asking God for mercy. Yes, if you're menstruating, you can hold the candle. Yes. So if you your um if if you can't reach that person, start asking God for mercy. Let the Lord have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Amen. So it is by 12 a.m. In the next few hours, we will begin midnight prayer. Okay. God bless you. I'm going to put the link of I can't do midnight prayer. What's load shedding? Ooh, I don't know. Can I use glove? Don't use glove. Do you know why I don't want you to use glove? Let that wax touch you. Let you know as wax is touching you, the pain of that wax is ho is holding you. You don't get the kind of aggressive prayer I want us to make. They, you know, the wax the, it comes with a lot of pain, right? As that pain is paining you, that is how that thing will be paining you. That is how you'll be crying to the Lord destroy every foundational problem that is how you'll be crying to the lord destroy whatever they've done to me i reverse every course i take what we're doing is we're simply taking that course wrapping it eh? putting it in a well furnished cellar phone or nylon anything and returning it straight to the sender let them taste have a taste of their evil let them have a taste of their wickedness let's that thing they said, you will not be there. Someone else will occupy. Let them not be there. And someone else will occupy their own home. Hmm? They will not be there. Someone else will occupy their home. How long will it be? Are you scared? <laughs> People are scared of the candle. Are you scared of the candle? They're asking how long will it be? I don't know how long it will be until we finish the prayer. If we finish the prayer, you go. They are scared of the candle. Should we stop the candle? Okay, maybe we shouldn't use the candle. Maybe we shouldn't use the candle. Okay. Who is in support? Let's not use the candle. Who is in support? Who is in support? Let's not use the candle. I can't find the thing I posted. Who is in support? So let's not use the candle. If you if you don't want us to use the candle, please say so. Let's not use the candle. I'm trying to post. Someone is in support. I support that. Let's not use the candle. Let's use the candle. Need. No candle. People are really scared. <laughs> Let's use the candle. Put the candle in a container. Oh, you want to put the candle? Have you seen white garment church people pray? Have you seen white garment church people pray? With a candle in their hands, with the wax. With that anger of wax touching them. And they are crying. It's a broken heart. As that pain is touching you, cry. <laughs> As you're crying, be telling God what you want. As that I know it's too severe. <laughs> yes, Mama Ngozi, that's true. Whoever that can hold the candle, hold. It will be paining me to... I have zero tolerance for pain. So imagine I'm doing it. I have zero tolerance for pain. One thing will touch me. Just small thing will touch me. And it will... It will ring a bell in my brain. I have zero tolerance for pain. But what we're going to do is this. Let's not make it, because most times the prayers are one hour, right? Let's not make it too long. Once we're done with that scripture, we'll drop the candle. Okay? And continue other prayers. Once we're done reading that scripture, we'll drop the candle. Just, you put the candle down and we continue, okay? I'm pregnant. I hope the candle won't hurt me. Please. Please. If the candle will hurt you, please bring it down. Don't do anything that will hurt you. I want us to get results from our prayers. 
I don't want us to go into trouble. I don't want us to pray and experience pain. I want us to get results. So if the candle will hurt you, please drop it. Okay? If the candle will hurt you, please drop it. We're going to use it for that psalm. Was we're done with that psalm, we'll keep it somewhere and continue the prayers. All right? We're going to use it. Once we are done, we keep it and continue the prayers so that people will not be injured. I That's not my intention. I don't want to hurt anyone. Hmm? Please. My intention is not to hurt anyone, Bikun. All right, so I'm going to post the link. I'm not sure why this thing is not posting. I'm going to post the link of the um, of the morning declaration. What's going on? Someone is asking how can a, a candle hurt one? I don't know. Some people are complaining and I don't want it to hurt you. So, candle wax is not painful. Ah, 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 Matilda. 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 I'm not with you on this one. It is painful. <laughs> I am not with you on this one. It is painful. So, the time is 12 a.m. Nigerian time. Please invite someone as you're coming, okay? Don't come alone. Invite someone. Oh, no wonder. Invite someone as you're coming. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you. Don't forget. Invite someone. God bless you. Do we have testifiers while I'm trying to pin this? Do we have testifiers? Please do share your testimony. If you have a testimony, share your Share your testimony, please. Okay, I've successfully pinned it. Oh, Emmanuel is sucks is scared. Oh, don't be scared. Don't be. If you know. If they know they are not clean in the house, let them not pray. That's the truth. Like I said before, if you know you're not clean in your heart, don't do it. If you know you're planning to kill someone, don't do it. If you know you're planning to destroy someone, don't do it. If you know there is some sort of evil, start asking for the mercy of God, okay? Because it could be karma just repaying you for what you just did to someone else, okay? So please, God bless you all. Please click the link and... Make the morning prayer if you did not. The declaration prayer. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you. All right. So let's go so that we can sleep. I'll see you all in the next two hours. Mm, almost two hours. I'll see you all in the next two hours. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you. I love you. I used the salt water to pray. Hold on. I used the salt, salt and water prayer to bring back my loved one who left me. But he came, what? Who left me but came back? Oh, that's amazing. She prayed and her loved one came back. As an adult, we can handle candle. I have a visa interview on August 1st. I make a declaration on you today. In the name of Jesus, that interview is successful. That interview is successful. That interview is successful. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. You will come back with a testimony. Amen and amen. Sky, please share your testimony. Share your testimony so that we can go and sleep. I really need to sleep, even if it's for one hour, so that I can come up again. All right, I'll see you all. Please, if you have your testimony, keep it till tomorrow so that we can just get some sleep, even if it's two minutes, okay? God bless you. I'll see you all again tomorrow. Mm -mm. I'll see you all again in the next two hours. God bless you.
someone invited me i am new here god bless you victoria i'll see you in the next two hours i'll see you by 12 a.m god bless you stay safe and stay confident i love each and every one of you bring your candle bring your bible bring your bible because you will be reading from the bible bring your own bible so that you'll be reading if i'm praying you'll be praying you'll be reading we'll be reading the bible we'll be making our prayers we'll be reading the bible we'll be making our prayers so bring your bible so that as i'm praying you're praying too god bless you let's do it on zoom so we know who will drop the <laughs> oh let's do it on zoom so that we know who will drop the candle <laughs> no we're not doing it on zoom <laughs> I'm not doing it on Zoom. God bless you all. I'll see you all again in the next two hours. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye. -bye.